Well, we've come about 10 minutes away from the hotel we're staying in in Mexico City, and this place is famed for being busy, not just with its traffic, but with the number of people who come out, especially at the weekends, to socialize and do various activities. That is not happening today because of this swine flu outbreak. You can probably see all around this park where normally you would find hundreds and hundreds of people. There's just a couple of kids and their parents here. You would normally hear a big boom of traffic. You're not hearing that today. And there's Marsha here who we bumped into just a moment ago and I just wanted to say a quick hi. Um, it's not normally like this, is it? No, at all. I mean, regularly there's a lot of children here and their parents and, I mean, like, 50 times more children than we have now. And you're wearing your mask, but yeah. I saw some of the kids over there not wearing masks, and I'm wearing one, but there doesn't seem very much consistency over... I mean, I'm just wearing it out of precaution, I suppose, but why is it that some parents are letting their kids go without? I don't know, I guess it's just because uh, we haven't heard like an official position on whether should we, wear, should we wear it or not, or uh, should we stay at home, or can we go out, or... I mean, that's why everyone's doing what they feel is the best. Are you scared? Um, not yet. I mean, I do think uh, this is, I mean, severe flu everywhere, mm -hmm. but um, I still don't think it's like a, we're going to be dead everywhere. Okay. Well, nice to speak to you. Thanks for letting us Thanks interrupt you. your Sunday morning. World Have Your Say was planning to talk about the drugs problem in Mexico and its effect on society on Monday's show. Obviously, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be talking to people affected by this swine flu outbreak. So if you have any questions for people here, you can post them at worldhaveyoursay.com. And I'm going to try and get used to, between now and then, uh, presenting with a mask over my face.